Hi Leo, welcome to this Twin Flame Tower Love Reading. My name's Sophia, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I'm going to jump straight in and see what's happening with you guys. <clears throat> okay, let's see what's happening. I'll show them up here in case you can't see them on the table. Okay, so, right, so I look like an off, I can't see harsh words, so it's, oh, right, okay. So what I'm picking up from the first line, which is kind of the now, is that for some of you, you're feeling, well, this is heartbreak, really, because... Your person is not showing up as we you know twin flame state as emotionally investing um not not um not acting or saying or showing that they're you know interested in you as such and i state that can you see your person here is facing the other way so it's like he's not to you, he's not bothered about your heart or, you know, the relationship or stuff like that. But um, this to me is, and I, and I state it a lot, it's got to be someone who's new or someone who's just not digesting what I'm teaching <laughs> and just watching. Because um, someone who doesn't know the twin flame um, or, like I said, not bothered to do the work, program they keep channeling me that i've got to override this programming of years of generations of taught how to do it differently and i state that because the first card here it's a sun it's a star right so you've got to understand the sun is about your happiness the sun is clarity the sun is abundance the sun is the most positive card in the deck the sun to me is connected with twin flames because we're supposed to know the planetary systems and as above so below as within so without all these kind of um, principal laws and the sun is connected to the heart chakra the sun like i said is happiness so it's about you loving oneself your happiness so loving your heart first then your person comes towards you this represents to me in this deck it doesn't i don't know what it actually means in the deck but to me that represents the science the science means to me, is like the laws of the planet, quantum physics, energy, and stuff like that. And uh, as twin flames, it's part of our contracts to know how to manifest. Now, you manifest by knowing the laws of the planet. And the laws of the planet is um, inside out, like I said, as within, so without, principal laws of cause and effect. So what's happening here is you're feeling out in the cold, and, you know, you're feeling like, there's no signs. It could be literally one of those old friends. He or she's friend zoned you and you're not happy with that and stuff like that. That's what I'm picking up from this card straight away. And it's basic, like I said, in between this heart and this, which is connected, the sun is connected with the heart chakra, the micro and the macro, the flame. And that's generally what, that's why I use this deck. It's, it's quite, a, you know, relevant for twin flames and this is like a wolf can't really say that crying in the background so you're feeling because in this deck there's wolves i connect the wolves as a third party so you're heartbroken you might feel that you know whatever the third party is generally when third party is stated in tarot it's kind of um uh the first thought is someone else you know, especially some other chick or, you know, person that you'll think your person's with and something like that. So there's, um, with that, I think that's why you're feeling um, heartbroken as well. They're not treating you like the other person. They're not all this kind of thing that's happening here. And I state that because, like I said, the first card is your person is facing the other way. 
so not bothered walking away ghosting you all this could be going on at this at the, in this reading so but to me like i state is twin flames you're not, not understanding the science uh or the free will experience of a twin flame so you could literally be new and i state that because your person is absolutely this is him in his him or her perfection of a role as a twin flame <laughs> And generally, they stay pretty much shielded and protected and stuff until the very end, until you're totally healed this, loving oneself, till the very end. Because even halfway through, they still kind of show up. They show up more, but they still don't. Like, you could have your person, say you see them once a month. You might see them two, two three times a week. But they still might not emotionally invest as much because if they did, then you will turn it into a soulmate. And you are here to be teaching people how to do it the twin flame way as such. Not literally, but anyway. So here's your person that totally shielded. Uh, there. <laughs> and, um, but they, if you're new, I'm always stating they are your te you're both teachers to each other. Absolutely. The only difference is that you lead this, then they follow, because you're the yin onto the yang. And you're the light. The light worker is the yin, that you shed the light onto your person, onto the, how to get into the light as well. So if he's totally shielded, like this, this is early doors. Now, it doesn't mean that this is early doors that you met your person, this, you could be with your person for 10 years. This means that you've just now come across the correct path of how to do the Twin Flame, hence my channel. Or you could have come across someone else who's connected to my channel. Because most people on YouTube don't know the Twin Flame journey. They just are Twin Flames and open up a channel and learn pack of cards and state, well, this is what's happening, that's what's happening. Doesn't mean that they're with their person. Doesn't mean they're loving themselves doesn't mean they're in union with their self or union with their person or in mission with their person it just means they're a twin flame like you and just open up a channel which takes five minutes which most follow hence why most twin flames are not in union this is your person feeling you he's here to teach you to feel why he's feeling the emotional cup emotional cup and i said is connected with the laws of the planet is energy emotion so energy is this vibration of planet Earth. It's, a, you know, the atoms are all constant motion. My point is that he's teaching you to feel him, not to look at him being shielded or to study him. This fish connects it with what is hidden. What is hidden within the fool's journey, jump into the unknown, what is hidden, that's connected with the moon. The moon is connected with the high priestess because the high priestess is crowned with the full moon and the waxing moon they are all connected all the dots connect if you know the true self your true self as a twin flame which a twin flame is no different than a soulmate only the twin flames are to teach others how to be oneself by loving oneself so i say as a twin being yourself as a twin flame it just means being yourself really but your contract which you agreed to is to love self then teach others how to do it cor correctly so as a twin flame contract let's say so he's saying that you need to emotionally invest in yourself that is what the teaching is the fish is what is hidden what is hidden is that um like i said is um connected to the moon connected to the um foundation it, oh gosh i'm getting deep here let me try to stick to this what is hidden is that you're not understanding the twin flame journey, how to manifest, which is the one, 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 which is um, twin flame 1111. Most people don't know what that is. That is all the alchemical elements, um, air, earth, water, fire. And the magician card holds all the um, alchemical elements. The magician card in tarot is the illuminated one. And he's, he's at the top here on the tree of life. The tree of life has four worlds, earth, air, water, fire. One's fire is at the top. So that's why we're connected to the magician card because the magician's at the top. 
So we are here to teach people, humanity, how to manifest back to their birthright, how they were born to manifest on the positive because of humanity, elite, secret societies, belief systems, traditions, religion has changed that manifestation mode from a positive to a negative. So you are here to teach people how to do that by loving yourself. This person here who's going through heartbreak is expecting your their person to come to love them, which is what the television teaches people and then parents teach, give their love to their children Instead of saying, love yourself as I love myself. So this person here is definitely looking for that ten of pentacles, the house, the car, the picket fence. Well, humanity, twin flames are here to teach. We look for the ten of cups because ten of cups is emotions. Cups is emotions, energy, emotions, as within, so without. Hence, I said, this is the sun, the star connected with the heart chakra. So as within, so without, the macro, the micro. So what is hidden is you're not knowing the unknown. The unknown about the journey, the unknown about the twin flame contract, the unknown about consciousness and energy, because that is the unknown. The unknown about the full jumps into the unknown. The unknown in the full jumping into the unknown is ether. The zero in the full card means ether. Ether is air, water, fire. Those are all ether. Air is water ether water is energy emotion emotions fire is in the air that's the unknown with him riding the fish so it's more complex than what you think it's not just a soulmate oh you just love that person over there and he's supposed to come towards you he is teaching you be the high priestess these these symbols here of on the high i said she's crowned with the moon that's what the moon is the waxing moon and um the crescent moon and the full moon. So this is what this is far deeper than that, but I can't really go into it. So he's saying that um, you, to you, you're focused on what is hidden in the third party with the wolf here. He's saying it's jack shit to do with that. The more over that, that's how I tell how far you are on your journey by your person. When I do an image reading, I look at your person. If you're full up with blocks, which generally most humanity is blocked, depends what kind of character and stuff you are. 95% of humanity have subconscious negativity. So I ask for image of your person because I can pull more from them through you if you're twin flame. If you're not twin flame, I can't do that. So that's why I go, I judge how far you are progressing from how far your person runs. You see, if this is a nightmare situation, he's ghosting you, there's no communication, he keeps running, um, you're focused on the third party, there's constant heartbreak. I stated because you're not understanding the zero point, this is a zero, and you're not going within. She's within that zero point, within the ether, within, this is a world card. This is you, me, verse, you in reverse. The world card is the universe. That's two and one. Two is two of cups. Two of cups is two emotions, energy emotions, but two is mutual, meaning alignment. The one is the alignment, singular, you. So you, singular, one line, that's one line here. Not two lines, three lines, four lines, well, four ones, but one line is alignment, right? So you singular love yourself inside, inside. You pull into your reality, trust in. You pull into your reality, love, love in oneself. Then with alignment, it's mutual energy, emotion. Like two cups go to one person. That's how it is. And on this planet, the frequency of love, the highest energy emotion. Look, he's teaching you. The cup is in the air. He's like emotions in the air. He's teaching you. You're looking at it like he's just shielded and he's lying with the fish, with the moon, right? It, it, but it, it's not. It's you. You're lying to yourself. This is an, a, a perfect reflection mirror and alignment between both of you. You're just not 
the difference is what you're doing is looking at your person with your eyeballs outside but inside you you have an exact alignment with your person so you're thinking he's lying you're lying to yourself about your true self you see this planet's energy emotion energy right doesn't see the distinction of well he's not telling me he's living with someone most of them they don't hide it from you they just you know they're just over there doing their shit but you're not tapping within and getting into your true self so it's both a lie energy doesn't distinguish well that lie is worse than this lie energy just sees lies energy doesn't see well he's married with a contract of a piece of paper over there our energy will see that passion overrides love and he passion is what twin flames are the ones the fire passion so it doesn't matter what he is over there. It doesn't matter with the piece of paper. Energy doesn't fill that piece of paper. It's a feeling frequency planet. Hence his hand is in the air. Feel his hand. You feel with your hand. Feel the energy in motion. You see? But you're looking with your eyeballs, not insight. Inner, in the circle. Emotion, the water. This woman is naked, meaning... You go back to your birth right self born free born positive born attracting and loving yourself a child just loves itself when it's born you have to go back to that birth right self look one love <laughs> bob marley one wand two ends she singular the feminine are the light workers she holds the light now who else holds the light in the deck the hermit meaning once again you go within the hermit is completely going within removing all the roots of the situation which is belief systems traditions religion the roots are connected to the tree of life i already said the tree of life have all the worlds the yin the yang the pillar each sides the zero point or the four card is in the hidden realms behind the sephiroth and at the top of the tree of life is the magician card this is short, tiny. So my point is you have to go within to your world to have mutual love, which will go on to your person with the wand here. Underneath the heartbreak is this is your person. When the Hierophant or the High Priestess comes up, it's you. So to you, you're, you could be doubting. You're like, I don't even think it's my twin flame, blah, blah, blah. But you, you don't. OK, I'll give you a question you feel that like he's teaching you you feel that and then oh, you'll go yep it's my twin flame 100 percent. your eyeballs which is limited this is why you go within because you go within you remove that negativity then you tap into upstairs higher consciousness higher mind higher wisdom high priest high priestess it's your person the hierophant high priest is your counterpart not the emperor, the empress, the queen, the king, the high, because it's hierophant. He's godly, right? High, high consciousness. And once again, he is teaching you, stop looking with your eyeballs, stop listening to other people, stop chatting shit, fill me, I'm a gift. I fill you as a gift. Stop looking at these people that's manipulating me, there's the devil here. Stop looking at this woman who's pretending she loves me, but she's lying with the moon behind her back. You know, I am doing my role as perfection as a twin flame over here till you learn to love yourself. The eight of cups, so you could have walked away. Eight of cups means walking towards or walking away. And once again, this is to me means science because you're not understanding. Can you see that? Uh, that circular thing there, that's that's. That's once again is um, the sun, third eye, inside, because you're not loving oneself inside. This is six of cups here, which is a twin flame. Emotionally feel this, you spilt it over because you're not manifesting. You're like, well, sod this. It's not coming towards me. I'm getting crumbs. That's what they say, didn't they? So I'm walking away. Because he, look, it's underneath this one, is showing up. He or she is showing up like that. 
The last card is a, once again perfection of alignment as you as a twin flame. This is, this is quite classic. Most twin flames always look with their eyeballs and see the drama, the drugs, the third party woman, the baby's mum. He's working 12 hours. He's, you know, he's got no money or he's got loads of money, but he's still working himself to death. All that third party situation. That's all the drama you have within. Like I said, the more drama, the less you've done within. The more you remove, the closer he comes. It's the law. This isn't me channeling from 5D. This isn't me knowing quantum physics, philosophy and all this that I know and the counsellor know. This is the law of the planet that me and you live on. The more negative you have, the more you let the light in. The light is the positive, the more your person comes towards you. This is a circle of a will as well. The will goes forward, it goes back or it stays still. Depends on you, you see. So the last card I said is perfection is alignment. This is your person once again teaching you to go within. Look, he's covering his face yet again. Three cards with him covering his face. Him or her, it doesn't matter. These three, all covered. Fucking go within. Stop looking at my situation. You're a twin flame. You're here to teach people to go within. That's the law of the planet. As within, so without. This is what he's teaching you. It's down to you to learn it. He's covering his face with eight wands. Once again, his hands are showing. Feel me. Once again, feel me. Once again, feel me. Right? That's what he's teaching you. He's like, feel me. Eight of Wands is communication from what? The sky. Your twin flame. You're not. Don't expect a fucking text or phone call. This is twin flame. Communication from where? Higher consciousness higher front you're the high priestess right higher consciousness i channel from 5d anyone can get their guides to tell them what to do in life there's several guides and family over that you've passed over that want to help you you communicate once you go within you remove the negativity you learn to communicate with up above this will help you to guide you with your twin flame because this is your twin flame with this card, this is absolutely your twin flame if this resonates with you. Here is a perfect alignment. He is teaching you to communicate by going within, with up above, because your lit limited eyeballs are only seeing what other people are telling you, what you're listening to, hence no face. The high priestess has that saying, no face, because that's what she's supposed to do, not look, watch, or listening. He's like... When you go within, it's the fucking sky. It's everywhere. It's the sky knows everything. But if you're just looking with what people are telling you, listening and that, then it, that's why this isn't going forward. The perfect alignment is this zero point. Once again, the zero point here of the world. And this is interesting. And I'll tell you why, because they're above each other. So this is the fool's card. That legwork is that is it is the new beginning so there needs a new restart here and he's teaching you once again restart this one foot on the earthly plane one foot in the air that's what the fool does now most people say take the leap of faith i don't know what they're chatting shit about they don't know tarot the fool card represents the fool is tarot Tarot is about learning on oneself. That's why I said twin flames are here to teach people how to manifest, which is oneself, born, birthright. You, your universe, you're born that way to manifest your wants and desires from a default, from a positive. But I said it's, it changes to a negative due to belief systems and whatnot. The fool jumps into the unknown, which I said the unknown are the three wands. Three of Wands means um, air, water, fire, because they're all the air, the ether. You explain to me what ether looks like. The unknown is it going within. You explain to me what chakras look like, what kundalini looks like, what intuition looks like. That's what the unknown is. The fool jumps into the unknown. One foot's on the earthly plane. That's one wand. The lowest alchemical element. The other wand, air, water, fire, that's what the unknown is. His foot is on the unknown. So the full card represents you jump into 
the pool of consciousness. Consciousness is unknown. That's what it's saying. You jump into the unknown consciousness, then you learn oneself because a fool is someone who isn't wise. So you're learning the fool's journey. This is a journey to learn to discover yourself. That's what tarot is. You discover yourself, like I said, connected to Kabbalah, the tree of life, which is all the worlds. One, 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 one. This is what you don't know. This is you. You're him telling you eight of wands. You go within to connect with the unknown, which your guides will help you. And two of wands is thinking about what? Thinking about going on the correct path. That's what he will do. Because his foot is on the earthly. We are here to be the higher consciousness. Your person's role is to be on the earthly ground. So we have a balance of yin and yang. So that because we live off this planet, one foot on the earthly ground, but we manifest and we live also of the other three realms, the other three wands. This is what you need to know. I said this is two zero points here because this is zero of the fool's card and the zero of the world card. And I said that's interesting because that's the Lamascape, the figure eight. This is destiny. This is um, the infinite symbol of the Lamascape, which is that is yin and yang. You are the yin, the light worker. This is your person, the yang. I said you shed the light onto the yang, your person here. This is also about you. The Lamascate is on top of the strength card. The strength card is the woman holding the lion's mouth, meaning you don't need the fucking words. The strength card is the empress. The woman's in the card is the empress. So you are treating this like the emperor and the empress. You need to gather the strength because the Lamascate is above of her head to so stop listening to his because the, the line is roaring, right? Stop listening to what he's cussing and stating, he or she over there. You have to gather the strength. The, that Lamascate, that figure eight, right, is also above the magician card. Your job is not to listen to the lion roaring. Your job is to manifest. The Lamascate, which is the yin and yang, is the cord, which most people say cutting the cord. That Lamascate, this will be like this forever. Because the Lamascate is infinite symbol. Hence, you can't cut the fucking cord because this is energy. Hence, the fool's card of jumping into the unknown. This too is the last card of the Lamascate. You are your twin flame. This is your person. You're creating the heartbreak because you're not learning about oneself, which is the twin flame contract. So let me get more cards here to get a clarification. But that's pretty straightforward to me. Classic twin flame early doors situation on their journey. Like I said, you could be like this for ages, but this ain't progressing, is it? This is Queen of Wands. So there's the Empress and the Queen of Wands here. They don't have to come out. I'm a visual clairvoyant, so I can kind of pull whatever. This is you, and I said about the strength card holding his mouth. This card to me represents, hold on, when it will focus. Queen of Wands, which you are the wands, is you holding back your reptilian brain. See, she's holding that there. 95% of humanity have 95% of net negativity. The 5% that the people, which is on the subconscious, the conscious mind, which most of humanity run from, still reacts with the R complex, the monkey mind, the reptilian brain, reactional, right? So you have to learn how to control that R complex because at the moment you're running from that R complex, reacting to your person, walking away, no communication because you're not learning oneself with the first card. You're creating your own heartbreak because you're not understanding the macro, the micro, all that. That's what this state in. This is your star seed. This is all connected. This is, I can't even go into how deep this is, but this is about, um, my program talks about the R comp complex as well. So I'm going to finish this with a kippah.
this to me is like the uh the chariot because it's just, you know it's the movement it's number nine nine to me means um defensive behavior it also was well, it is in tarot it also is like being independent now most other tarot readers say stuff like work on yourself don't worry about your person he's over there as a fucking idiot she's just doing what she's doing over there you get your monies up you walk barefoot in nature you go do some acupuncture you work on yourself you don't worry about them it's bollocks now you work on yourself on the inside anything that is outside of you because outside is an illusion it doesn't help you your world your universe your world is inside that zero point of ether inside you pull into your reality so you have been listening to other people friend family friends and other tower readers that have directed you incorrectly to do stuff that millions of other twin flame views on youtube hence there's only what five um people in union with a person because obviously they they are not doing it like i said at the beginning they simply open a channel and follow what the sheep we are not here to follow the sheep. We are here to be different, to tell people the difference of what we, how you manifest um, correctly into your reality, which is the law of the planet, which is what we're here to do. This is an experience frequency planet of love. Most don't experience that. They give out their love to someone and then expect that, that person to give it back, which is an impossibility because only you know your universe. So this needs to change. That's what it's saying. Absolutely, the last card is change. So if you want to change that, um, you should tell by my reading already that I know my shit. But if you're like, well, I don't want to go and buy anything yet because you've been buying stupid extended readings when no one gets into union from extended readings, let alone just by watching YouTube, then, uh, yeah, good luck with that. But I have not one but two playlists to prove to you that I can get you in union. So uh, check out my playlist or just go ahead because I can guarantee you that no one does um, knows about um, Twin Flame Journey more than that. So hopefully this has been good for you and thanks for listening.